Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play some more Starbound Fracking Universe. We're going to continue our little, uh, our little horticultural, uh, horticultural, excuse me, uh, adventure here we're gonna see there's a there's some more research we we gotta do hopefully not too much more we might try to do a little automating with respect to um putting seeds back into uh putting seeds back in to their little dispenser thing uh yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out, because... I would have to make sure to do multiple... Uh, multiple little splitters to actually get it to, to work, or individual uh, item transference devices. Also making sure that it does it over time and not, you know, uh, uh, continuously might be a useful thing as well. Actually, now I don't remember. Does this actually... Oh, wait, no. What I would want is to put the fertilizer back. To put the fertilizer back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it uses its own um, uh, product as fertilizer, and that's actually kind of useful. Um, it doesn't make much sense from an actual uh, real life standpoint, but you know, there's it's it's a game. You got to game find it somehow, right? Um, but the next bit we've got to work toward is we've got to uh, actually be able to create mutavisc seeds, and, and this isn't it. That's the one. Um, and there's a few things that we actually have to uh, create to that end. Um, so we need splice cells, uh, putrid slime. Was I looking for something? Was I looking at something else? And uh, to get the splice cells and the putrid slime, we need a few other things. But we have to research both of those. Uh, at least we have to re research the putrid slime, I think. Um, it's all under, uh, chemistry, I believe. Um, we might already have it. Was it chemistry? Ah, oh, hell, I just looked this up. <laughs> As per usual. Actually, I think it's... Um, we're gonna... Yeah, no, okay, so we've already got it researched. We, we need, we need to... We need to get putrid slime, and we also need to get, uh cell matter and there's there's ways that we can do that i believe we can craft okay we can craft splice cells and we can craft um we can craft basically everything that we need except for one crucial part and i just cannot remember off the top of my head what it is but um to that end we need to step over here uh cranic extract we want Let's see, it's going to be under this. We need uh, cell matter, um, splice cell material that requires pus, bio sample, and cell matter. Putrid slime. Okay, I never looked at putrid slime, I'm realizing. And of course, we need black slime. Ugh. Son of a mother. Mercury is. I want to say less of a problem. Because um, I think that's something that we can actually craft. Yeah, we can make mercury. Um, with contaminated water, silicon, and iron ore. That's not terrible. And plus, we can also make... That's actually pretty easy. What with all that contaminated water we're walking around with? Alright. So. We have my little notepad here. So that I can actually record some stuff and get get a list here. Um, let's take a peek. All right, for the splice cell, S cell, 
We need jeans. We need 160 of them. No, we need 20 of them. And we only have 160. Uh, cell matter. Uh, 20 plus 16. Um, bio sample 8. That's good to know. All right. Eight. Then for the putrid slime. We need black slime. I'm sh I, I want to say we have some lying around somewhere, so that's that'll be make things easier. Need that and then I can't even remember what we need for. Should have written down the recipe for the meat of isk. Yellow petals, probably not that big of a problem. We might actually have to grow some. I mean, we only need to make a few of these, I think. And then if we can run them through something, and just have them produce seeds, or like run them through the actual... Uh, my God, if I can remember what I'm talking about half the time, that would be great. Uh, run, <laughs> run them through the uh, the trays and actually just grow them that way. That would be that would be very nice. Um, let's see here. So let's look to see if we have a, uh, the black slime, the mercury we can make, but a lot of this stuff is actually we. Some of these things are going to be actually at the mining base. So let's go check it out. Probably be a short episode today. I've been doing a lot of... A lot of stuff for myself recently, and that's not... It hasn't left a lot of time, and that is... Has been pretty disappointing. In all honesty. Okay, there's not going to be anything on this side. Anything that we would have would be over here, I think. Okay, so we've got mercury. And swamp water. Look at protocyte. Okay, doesn't look like we have any pus. It's kind of a bummer. We are processing all that water, and we should get some contaminated water out of that setup. If we don't already have some. I don't, I, I don't know that we do. Um, let's see. Slime? Nope. Umbral dirt. Black slime. Is that the stuff that makes that hurts us? I can never remember. Actually, I just can't remember in this instance. Um, I, yeah, I don't think there's a lot for us to work with right now, but ooh, dark water. Interesting. We do have the contaminated water. That's nice. And regular water. Let's, you know, just take both. Surprised we don't have more of each of these. Interesting. Okay, so... Just put it in one. I don't understand. Don't understand what you're doing. Ooh, we got carbon coming in too. That That is useful. Alright, so our black slime. That's... That's a bottleneck. Mercury, not as big of a problem at the moment. But I don't know how much of this... If we're going to need to produce... Uh, any, if... Here. any of this stuff or, or whatever let's see actually if we can extract some black slime from something else Ooh, water oh and cell matter well that's nice let's take some of these so that they, they don't uh, overlap too much Well, that's nice. Okay. So look, uh, as an output, let's take a look at black slime. We might need to take a little bit of an adventure alien soil. Hmm. And the powder sifter. I mean, we could do that. It's not, it's not going to afford too much, but, uh, let's see, 
us as an output. Nothing great in the extraction lab, and living stone is the best in the rock crusher. Well, living stone or bloody rock, I don't think I have access to either of those. But we can also make it, and it's pretty easy to make, so. Uh, mercury, if we can get that easier, that would be great too. I can spell it. Uh, cinnabar in the blast furnace. But also, don't know that I have any of these. If we could get some bloody rock, that'd be great because we'd get a few things out of that. Um, a block of darkness, block of dark stone, alien soil. And so I think alien soil actually is going to be good for our sifter if I have access to it right now. Alien soil. Should have checked in here. Okay, um, let's check for some other things, too. Nope. I think that's all we really have access to at the moment. Um, so, no alien soil. We cannot, we can't work with that. That's, that's a no-go. Problematic. Speaking of... Toxic waste. There's so much, so many fun things here. Um, yeah, we we really went through a, rot, a lot of stuff here. Ooh, and protosite. Nice. Okay, okay. Got to get a sorting system, or you, actually, just really anything to a deposit stuff. That that would be great. Doesn't need to support. Uh, doesn't need to do anything special other than that. Oh, so it's just the teleporter that I have that had some changes made to it. Alright, let's go right over there. Right over there. Knock some of these things out. Alright. I should see if I have any yellow petals right now. <laughs> I isn't that exactly how much I need? Think it is. Shit. Well, that's a problem. It's theoretically I, I won't need to have more. Maybe I should. Let's take what we can. And uh, let's go plant some. In the hydroponics. Not the, uh, not the trays, but the actual hydroponic, or the hydroponic tubing. Excuse me, we'll just put them right... Uh, we'll put them up there. Put them up top. Why not? In fact, we could clear this whole thing out. Eh, I won't worry about it right now. Beautiful. Just enough space for it. Well, that's perfect. And coffee and carrots and all that. Do I have any food on the person? That would be wonderful to know. I'm betting a good amount of it is going bad on me because it looks like that is the case. Nuts. Oh well. What are you going to do? Eat a tomato or two. Yeah, 
Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, right. That's a thing that happens. Well, great. All right. Um. Again, mercury and black slime. We've got uh, both of those, so... We can make those right off the bat. We just need the pus. And that is something that we can make, actually. So how many do we need? Like nine of them or whatever. I'll make double. Now let's just make two more just to have them. And this isn't too bad to make either. So we can actually make cell matter if the need arises, which it might. Um, all right. Let's just place cell. We need pus. And we're in the right place already. Pus. We're not going to use it for anything else. Wait. Really? Did I know that? I want to say that that's actually a really good rate. But the uh, fuel, fuel catalyst might be a problem. Uh, who's to say? Whatever. Whatever! Alright. Uh, why did I leave? Display cell. How many can we make? Bio sample. We need. Whoa. Okay. Now that I'm yeah. Now that I'm seeing, I we we can make yeah three. Okay. Uh, not great. Really, the only place that we can we might actually have to go on an adventure really quick. Um, the only place that there's only a couple places that you can get. <gasps> My god, I have just enough. Fantastic. Well, let's do it up. Oh, hey! Now that you know the basics, you should be able to whip up a wide variety of useful plants. Shh, not that I know the basics. Uh, so, Taylor, your farm to your personal needs? <laughs> Alright, sure. <laughs> no promises, my dude. Excuse me, my person. Yeah, we're gonna need the uh, yellow flowers. Hey, you know, maybe maybe we can get some yellow flowers at the same time um, as other things. But let us let's see. Cause I, I don't know how long. I don't know how how much. Oh shit. Right, right, right. We need water. Duh. Duh. Uh, of which we are not getting a whole lot of. Uh, but let's plant... Let's do Mutavisk seeds instead. Use that. We'll do... Keep the whole thing running. And I really think that I'm just going to make a well. And uh, so we can drop some water. Because it just makes sense to me. Just makes sense. Um, water generator, you say? Alright. Says decorative. Yeah, let's let's build one of them. Less effective when stacked. I don't that like what qualifies as stacking in in this case. Let me put it right over here.
Beautiful. That's not so bad. All right. Okay. So we got everything going there. Let's go find us. Actually. Is this working? Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Good deal. Oh, wait. You've got 99 there. That's not a problem. Not a problem at this point, anyway. So we can put all that back. I'm gonna wait on the water. I'm... I gotta look into... Because we have to make the Mutavisc bandages, which means we got the silk. We've got the silk coming through. But... Oh, hell. Where is all this crap again? Where is this junk? Okay, so... Okay, we just need the immunity of his bandages. We need 40 of them. Which, ugh. Oh, there's the medical bay. Well, dumb. Okay. I wonder if this actually does anything special. Perhaps it does. Well, sure as hell. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? If we can upgrade it, if we can do it, why not? All right, let's see what we actually need for the Mutavis bandage. Excuse me. Get out of that. Biothread. Biothread is probably here. Aw, oh, hell. <laughs> we're, we're, okay, is that something that we make here? Uh, Corvex putty? Shit. If I were Biothread, where would I be? I would probably be... Over here. Right? I'm guessing. No, alright. Interesting. Uh, probably not in there, because that's all seeds and such. Seeds and the like. I did figure out, I did realize that, um, I want the, I want to get the, by the way, the chainsaw, there's no, like, laser chainsaw, it's called the harvester beam gun. Uh, not exactly the same thing, but pretty much. Um. And that's going to be what I'm, I'm going to want to get. Does things right quick. It even e even replants things, which is super cool. Now that I think about it, I want to find out where it is. Not under here. Here? No. No, 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 what? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've played this game. Um, maybe here. Or, or, there's always the pot. There we go. There it is. Found it. Um, protocyte easy. Zerkesium molten core, I don't know about. This one's not gonna be possible at this point. But we can make this one. Um... That, Sarkeesian Molten Core, we'll take a look. Wow. Don't know what happened there. Let's just get, I don't know, 20. It's unfortunate that my, my inventory is this size, because it's problematically large at this point. And I can just get as much, and now I'm gonna run out and not know when. 
Um, should have wrote this down. Protosite? No, 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 no. Let's. I've got protosite. Let's go take a look. Let's find out. There it is. Molten core, that's it. Easy to forget that one. I'll have to go buy some food, because I need it. Um, nope. Well, hell. That one. Here. Lava, liquid iron, electromagnet. And core fragments. Well, at least we got reasons to get core fragments. All right. Look what iron we can make. Lava, obviously, that's going to be an easy one to get, but... And it's just lava again. So, basically, we need to find lava. Okay, um... I guess, in the very meantime... Let's pop back up to the ship. Let's go find us a jungle planet, or I think it was a proto jungle or something. We'll just go, you know, check things out. And man, it's a whole other episode with basically nothing happening. Uh, surprise, surprise, I guess. Right, right? Is that where we're at? Ah. <sighs> Tropus would probably have pus. I don't think that we desperately need it right now. Lava, yeah. Gelatinous. Bog planet? I don't think it was a bog. Let's take a look at some nearby stars and see if we can find us a jungle. Rocky forest. Is it rainforest? It, jungle's a different one, right? Oh, hell, I should look this up. Should definitely look this up. Oh, there we go. Jungle. Okay. I hope I have enough. Let's do it. We doing it. Anyway, this is actually a good place to break it off, <laughs> unfortunately. So we'll get to do some adventuring next time, I guess. But yeah, I do want to thank everybody for hanging out and watching the video, like commenting, and subscribing, you know, that all that junk. That's everything it does help. I do appreciate it. And uh, hey, if you come chat at Discord, I appreciate that as well. Or uh, you know, watch me on Twitch on the weekends. Always a good time. Um, I do stream Saturday, Sunday, usually noon to four-ish is kind of the range <laughs> at least uh most of the time uh but you can find links for all this stuff if you're interested in uh, figuring out more you can find links in the description down below or uh on the uh, top of the page on the top right uh i do appreciate everything you know everything you do just just having you watch is great so uh thanks for that as well um but with that thanks for checking out the video from my house to yours i'm john the neighbor kid and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.